Welcome in a universe community. Our topic for today is empaths beware. So who are empaths? Are you an empath? Well, you will know. Empaths are very joyful people, happy people. They are sensitive to energy. They are highly intuitive and so they can know the energy of a person or place. You cannot lie to an empath because even before you complete your story, this person will know your intention and the empaths want to see the world a very joyful place and they internalize the energy of others so if you go and tell you, them about your pain they will just feel like it is their pain and that is how they need to charge up because this sucks up their energy and being highly intuitive they just know sometimes uh, through their dreams some important events that are going to take place so they are nice people and it is possible that most of the spiritual people are empaths because they learn we are all connected and so once you feel connected with others you realize that the other person is not separate and so now you start feeling for others also their pain is like your pain you don't want to see anybody in pain and here you are everywhere being kind to others always helping others so what is wrong with that nothing wrong it is a good thing to be kind and alert and feeling others pain but then how much is enough because these empaths they tend to attract narcissists like people will think that this person is kind so you just go and put all your garbage your burdens your pains your complaints on this person what is there knowingly or unknowingly but then that will be too much for you to bear it is not good for your own emotions and for your health in the long run especially the police personnel nurses doctors and lawyers they have to be really careful and so all of everybody who is an empath must find out some time for meditation some time some me time where you are sitting alone in nature or just sitting alone with yourself and recharging yourself so that you sit in silence not speaking to anybody and then you feel rejuvenated after some time have you heard this that it's so nice to talk to you and then this person will be there on phone on social media everywhere following you why because it is really nice to talk to you so they use you as a sponge for putting all their complaints and all negative feelings and all thinking that Oh, this person will just take in everything and nothing will happen. But that is not the case. After all, empaths are individuals too. So you have to be careful. Who will care for you? You are caring for the entire world, for everybody around you. But there must be somebody to care for you. And who is better than you yourself? So protect your energy. Your life energy is very, very precious. So in this video, I'll tell you on how you can protect your energy. You are telling somebody about the beauty of garden, about colorful flowers and this person comes and enters the group and says, Oh, do you know about the snake that came out yesterday? And everybody is like focused on the snake now. Most people revel in negative news. And so without even being aware what was so positive and nice that was making everybody feel good has turned into fear, emotion of negativity emotion of oh the world is not such a beautiful place after all so that is how your emotion there is an upheaval of emotions all the time and if this upheaval of emotion is towards the negative side just imagine what it will do to your health so you have to be very careful people are not very aware like masters say that most of us go through life in a sleepy state we don't even know about what discussions we go through or what kind of thoughts we are thinking what how we feel inside but awareness will help you in maintaining good health mental health as well as spiritual health and physical health 
because you know that your health is connected with your emotions and emotions are directly related with the quality of thoughts you think so let us know about how you can protect your energy point number 1 is don't just keep giving 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 it is nice to be kind it is nice to give listen to others listen carefully what the person is saying and if you have a solution give that solution that is fine but then you have to see how you feel in the company of somebody if every time you just feel negative or you just don't feel good after some time or your mind starts chattering like what did she say why did she, he say he or she say so if that is the thing you have to avoid such a company so be careful of your own energy so don't keep giving you must see how you are feeling in somebody's company now when you listen to sad stories a very good way of just listening as a witness and not feeling that pain all the time another way is to visualize their wellness visualize their prosperity instead of feeling the lack feeling of illness because that will really suck your energy the third way you can protect your energy is by learning to say no don't go to every place that you are invited to choose the places where you just go to places and people where you love to go where you are not judged all the time and you can be yourself so that is how you have to choose the places the fourth way to protect your energy is by becoming a witness don't try preaching everybody you cannot change the whole world in a day and so don't preach each and every person you meet sometimes just ignore even if the other person is wrong just ignore be a witness accept the other person as he or she is and you have to understand that the level of consciousness will be different for different people so they are on their path of spirituality you are on your own path so keep going and don't try to change everybody along the way just concentrate on what you are thinking on what you are doing and another way to recharge yourself is meditation sit for meditation every day at least for 10 minutes breathing exercises are a must every day you'll just feel so calm and peaceful and connect with your inner being also make your happiness a priority so do not try to please everyone you can never please everyone they will just keep raising their standards and you'll keep pleasing them and any amount of pleasing them will not be enough so better it is to love yourself to take care of yourself your emotional health so that once you are filled with love they will look at you and learn and they'll be inspired looking at you this person is happy so we can learn to be happy you do not have to go and ask everybody to be happy learn to speak less so you are not wasting your precious life energy and the last and very good way of protecting your energy is that as soon as you find any conversation taking a negative turn just keep it short and leave a very good place to go is go to the toilet or just leave oh i have some work now and just leave from there so this is how you can protect your energy your life energy is really precious because the flow of energy in your body keeps you healthy if you keep taking in pain 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 of others and listening to painful stories blockages of energy will be formed in your own body because you are feeling that pain you are internalizing that pain and now your body doesn't know whether it is somebody else's pain or your own pain so the damage is the same the damage is done in your body somebody else is angry you are standing there and that that vibration of anger is being sucked up in your own body and your cells won't feel good so if you are a peaceful person be with your own self be alone for some time it is okay to help others but not without helping yourself 
take out some time for dance, music, painting or pursue your hobbies. That will make you feel really good because these passions make you feel good. So with your work, always find some time, some time to read a book or sit in nature, meditate and do something you love to do. This is all in this video. I hope now you know how to protect your energy. Most spiritual people are connected with everybody else and that is how they become empaths. Most empaths are inborn also. They are old souls who are born intuitive. And so if you are an empath, you know how to protect your energy. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm your mentor and spiritual guide Sanchita Pandey and my message to you is I love you. I wish abundance, peace, good health and prosperity in your life. My love and blessings are always there with each one of you. Keep smiling. Be happy. Thank you so much. Namaste.